So, Rorschach paintings we all have seen were originally created by Hermann Rorschach to make one's psychological test. For me, the theme became up to date again after a movie Watchmen, where the main anti hero Rorschach fights against crime and has a mask made of constantly changing abstract paintings. Originally, these kind of paintings are black and white, and they also look good in minimalistic design. So, I want to create something like Rorschach paintings, but I will be using different colors, because I want to see how they blend together and create abstract art. I remember these methods from elementary school. These types of paintings are all about experimenting. There are different methods how you do it, and I want to show you some of them. Method 1 Use one piece of paper and one paint color. Put some drops of paint on one side of the paper, fold the paper, press it together and then open it. So pluses are that it's super easy, but also there are minuses that it doesn't look that interesting and the paper fold line is visible unless you need it anyway for a postcard, for example. I have to add that if your paint is too runny, no effect will be visible. You will get just a big spot of paint. Method number two. Use one piece of paper and several paint colors. Put some drops of paint on one side of the paper. Try to choose different places, not just in the middle, for example. Also, you can mix tiny touches of paint with bigger portions. Fold the paper, press it together and then open it. Pluses are, it's still super easy, it is a little bit more interesting as colors start to mix together, but still the minus is, paper fold line is visible. Use one piece of paper, several colors of paint and also a thread. The thickness of thread will make a slight difference in your painting. But if your paint is quite thick as my one, acrylic paint, I suggest to use wool. Put some drops of paint on one side of the paper, then place the thread randomly on paint, press it together with hand or a book, then pull the string out of the paper and open it. So the pluses are, it's easy, looks very interesting, colors mix together and create nice paint gradient, but the minus is paper fold line is still visible, but we will fix it in the next method. You can also add little details by sprinkling some paint in the corners. This can be added in the end, on top of the already made painting, or sprayed before placing the thread. So after pressing this, ornament will copy on both sides as well. Method 4 Use two pieces of paper, different colors of paint and a thread. So do the same thing as we did previously, put paint in different places and use different amount. But only on the whole page. As this will be bigger, you will more likely need a book to press it. Then pull the string out of the paper and open it. So I think there's only pluses here. It's easy, looks very interesting colors mix together and create nice paint gradient and there are no folding lines. When you get to know your paint and how method works, you can start to think about the tones of the paint and where they are positioned in the painting. As this looks similar to a flower, you can try bright tones on top and green in the middle and bottom. Sometimes you might not like the result or you think it will look too simple, then you just need to add more paint on top of the previous and repeat the same process. 
Also, don't be afraid to use an already used thread, because the bits of paint that are still on the thread will add more color elements to your painting. Method number 5 Use one or two pieces of paper, now you know how, one color and a thread. This is where the thickness of your thread will make a big difference in the result. Dip the thread into the paint or use paintbrush to cover it. This is so-called string art, a more gentle technique. In the end, it looks similar but not that colorful. So pluses here are it's easy, looks lighter and gentle, creates a 3D illusion. In addition to this method, you can try to cover the thread in different colors and then you will get a more colorful result. When your thread is thin, after pulling it out, it creates thin lines that add texture to your painting. In conclusion, I want to say that this is also a great and easy way to make large paintings for your home. In the beginning, paintings might look average, but with little practice and understanding of what colors you like to blend, you will get the results you are looking for. Just experiment!